Probably one of my favorite things to make in the fall is my mom's cantaloupe pie. Now I know you're probably being like, cantaloupe pie? Yes, my mom back in the 80s came up with a cantaloupe pie recipe that she won a, a recipe contest with. It's pretty amazing. Um, I have a newspaper clipping here that I'll show you in the video uh, that contains the recipe, plus a, a recipe for something that me and my brother made some uh, corn with some peanut butter and bacon on it. Pretty interesting stuff. But the cantaloupe pie is fantastic. As you can see it here, it's a nice, light and fluffy. Fluffy. <laughs> it's nice, light and fluffy. It's a great complement to a lot of barbecue dishes. You can see that it holds up very well and it's very delicious. And it's not too bad for you either. So mm. fantastic. So let's show you how to make it. Here we have the original newspaper article with the winning recipe. So we take up our cut up and skinned cantaloupe and we puree it in the food processor until we get a nice creamy, nice consistency. And then we'll take that out of the food processor and we'll put it into a bowl. Next, we take our pot and put it on the stove. We don't have the stove on at this point and we add our orange juice. And then we're going to, after our orange juice, we're going to take our three packets of gelatine, which you see here, and we're going to take those and we're going to sprinkle them evenly across all of the orange juice. And we're going to let that sit on top of there for a while. Not a while, three to five minutes. And we get this all spread out and let it absorb into the orange juice. It's an interesting stuff, gelatine. You can do a lot of different things with it. So next, we're going to take our sugar and we're going to sprinkle this on top of the gelatine. And we're going to let this sit in the pot for about three to five minutes until it gets most of the way absorbed into the orange juice. And just get it nice and even all across. Once it's set into the orange juice, then we'll put it on medium heat and we'll heat it up and we'll stir it with our spatula until we get it into a nice creamy consistency and everything is dissolved. It takes a few minutes. Okay, now we have our cantaloupe puree here and we take our container of Cool Whip and we spoon this into the cantaloupe and we're going to whisk this up really nicely so that it gets nice and creamy and it'll start getting a pale orange color. Uh, we use our whisk, we do it by hand because um, we want to be able to feel it and look at it. I think mom used a food processor but you know I just I don't know when I make this recipe I like to think about a lot about her and I like to think a lot about you know, this pie and some of the great, great experiences that we have. So then next we take our gelatine, sugar, and orange juice mixture and we stir this in. And we want to make sure we get this as distributed as possible. Now this is what gives the, the pie its, you know, its thickness and its, its greatness and its light and fluffiness. So we just continue to pour it in slowly and whisk it in as much as we can. This is going to make such a nice and fluffy looking pie and it's just so light and so delicious and it goes great with a lot of different barbecue dishes because it is so light and airy and it's, it's not heavy, it doesn't have a big flavor, just a nice, light, great dessert for any time of the year. So we continue to whip our mixture here and get it nice, get it nice and creamy, make sure that everything is mixed together, get it get that gelatine distributed all throughout and then we pour it into our pie crust. Um, Mom was a big detractor on the graham cracker crust so I try and find shortbread crusts as much as I can. I've made shortbread bread crusts a lot of times but 
when I normally want to make this pie, I've got a lot of other stuff I'm making too. So we pour this mixture into the pie crust into equal parts both. And then we take the lids back on, put the lids back on it, and we set it in the fridge for a minimum of two hours, but generally four hours is better. And we allow these pies to set up, and then we have perfect cantaloupe pie. It is a crowd pleaser, and it will make all of your guests happy. Four hours. Okay, there you have it. Here's the finished product. Look how nice and airy that is. A little dollop of whipped cream and a piece of mint on top. Again, this recipe is my mother's. It won first place in the Dominion Post. There's the recipe, and here's another finished product from a friend of mine, Mr. Jim. O -B -S, old Virginia